I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. So Isaiah Bonds goes, transfers to Texas. <laughs> First off, let me get into it just real quick. <laughs> First off, he makes a post in a Lambo, in a Lambo. So I'm sure, see what Isaiah Bonds, so many people saying business decision, business decision, that's cap. You know what a business decision would have been? See, a business decision is when a player leaves early, right? Yeah. When he has the opportunity to go to the NFL, when he takes that opportunity, you understand it. Get your money. Why risk injury? Yeah, that's a true business decision, huh? When a player's a junior and he's a top NFL prospect, et cetera, et cetera, he can come back for a senior year, but chooses to forego his senior year and enter the draft. That's a business decision. Not going to Texas and from the outside looking in, it looked like this would have happened anyway, even if Saban was in the building, big dog. It seems like Isaiah Bond is strictly in it for the money, for the guapino, for the money, for the guapino. He can be bought. You know what that tells me about Isaiah Bond? He didn't post <laughs> he didn't post nothing in the Texas training room or he didn't post a subliminal message on Instagram or Snapchat, wherever, uh, standing next to the coach, you know, or walking around the program, seeing the campus. Nothing like that. Nothing of that nature. He posted up in the Lambo <laughs> thinking he a big boss. Right. So what that tells me about Isaiah Bonds, he's all about the money. He's all about the bread. His soul can be bought. He will sell his soul uh, for the right price. Huh? You think some of these athletes ain't selling their soul, especially at the top of the top NFL, NBA? Let's be real. It shows me Isaiah Bond has no loyalty, bro. Period. I don't care what nobody yapping and capping about. Now, I, now I wish him the best. Ain't mad at him. No grudges. Get your money, big dog. I wish you the best, Isaiah Bond. You are a true talent. I can give you that. You might be the best receiver in college football. I can give you that. No issue, no problem, bro. But you have no integrity. Don't walk around acting like you loyal, that you really rock with Bama. And don't try to portray like, oh, you left because Saban left. Cap, kill that noise, big dog. You went to Texas and you wanted to sit your ass in a Lambo, in a Lambo, dog. You can be bought, bro. <laughs> Heavy. You have no substance, Isaiah Bond. It's not about the team for you, the energy, the chemistry. It's not about getting better, not only as a football player, as a man, etc. It's not about that. You just want that bread, that guapino. This right here is exactly why the NIL is ruining college football. It's going to ruin college football heavy. Then you got teams like Texas who got all that money, that wicked money, who can just buy players, buy players. Huh? That's cat, bro. That's no respect in that. Or you can hang money over a player head. You can hang a Lambo over a player head and think you bought it, bought it, fool. Think you're really doing a great job at scouting, that you're building players, you're building character. Kill that noise, man. Isaiah Bonds went to Texas because he just wanted that money. He don't care about what school he, any school who, who offered him the most bread, he would have went, bro. Talking about a business decision, a business decision would have been him staying playing for Kalen DeBoer, an offensive minded head coach. You see what he did in Washington. So if it's about a business decision, building up his draft capital, his draft position, he would have stayed at Bama, especially with an offensive minded coach coming in the building. Huh? Yeah. An offensive minded coach coming into the building. Who's going to utilize him the correct way, though? I don't want to hear about no business decision. It was about Guapino. Guapino. He didn't give a damn about Bama, bro. So kill that noise. Kill all that yapping about a business decision. No. No, I get it, Isaiah Bond. Get your bread. Get your money. But just know your soul wasn't there, dog. Your heart, your intentions wasn't going to Texas. If that was the case, like I said, you would have went there the first time, bro. Point blank, period. That would have been your first option. <clears throat> Heavy. Can't tell me nothing different, man. But this is the NIL. This is what college football has came to. Huh? You got a coach coming from Washington, strictly offense, strictly offense. You know he's going to incorporate plays for Isaiah Bond, utilize him correctly, and he takes his ass to Texas. Guess what? Let him go. Get him up out of there. 
You don't want to be a Bama? Cool. Get up out of there, bro. No hard feelings. But I think that was a shisty, slick move by Isaiah Bond. And guarantee, watch, mark my words, he will not be the same player he would have been at Bama heavy. You know why? The energy going to be off. The chemistry going to be off, baby. <laughs> heavy. He'll still get to the NFL. He'll still pull up, put up solid numbers. But guess what? It won't be like he would have done at Bama. And Bama fans, calm it down. We still got weapons. Huh? Still got weapons on the field. Got receivers there and coming in. Receivers there and coming in. Ryan Williams, come back, big dog. Come back, big dog. You know what's up. Heavy, man. Period. And Texas, guess what? Bama going to beat you in that playoff next year, boy. Bama going to beat you in that playoff hands down, man, down. 1,000, 1,000, huh? Best wishes to Isaiah Bond. But it's roll tide full of pride like that, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on and rock and rolling. Takes less than one second. Support the ground. Support the channel. Support the real. You support the fake all day. Support the real, man. You know what it is. Roll tide full of pride like that, man. <laughs> Heavy. Yeah.